So. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Money Money Game Cart. Um, it holds up to 300 pound capacity. Um, it weighs 26 pounds. It has rubber wheels. The dimensions of this game cart is a W times 40. I don't know. W times 40 is 16, 16 that's width oh, by width, 40, by 40 length. length. Okay, so anyways, uh, the reason why we decided to get one is last year I killed a doe. It was about a mile I hiked and I hunted this spot and I was hunting the edge of a um, green briar thicket. Yeah. And I was had to drag that deer through the green briar thicket down ridges. Almost, it was about a mile. Um, okay. It took me about three or four hour to drag and I was just using a three, uh, just a high pound rope. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and get this this year. That way we can Help make it a little bit easier to drag them out. Because that was the hardest thing in my life. I don't want to be sweating if you want to know. Anyways, we need a, I should have brought a knife. Okay. I may have to go get a knife. Let me get a knife. Yeah, go get a knife. What you got a knife? A pocket, pocket knife. Where's my pocket knife at? I got one over here, actually. Okay. It's over on that table over there. Here it is. So let's open it. Yeah, open it. And we'll be, we will be um putting the game card together step by step and showing you guys how to open it. Uh, how to put it assemble the game card. Yeah. Um, this is our first time doing it, so yeah. It hurt a little bit. Kind having of, issues and troubles, so we're of, doing it together. It's so. kind of cringy, so. Looks like here's one rubber wheel. Yeah, let me show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. One rubber wheel of this cool looking game cart we're going to use for deer season. Yeah, it's pretty and nice wheel. It's got spokes on it. This is a spoke? Looks like, I don't know what that is. We'll figure it out. Let's pull every piece out. What part is this? But we'll figure it out. Looks like that's where the axle, where the wheels go on. Wow, this is heavy. This is Some directions. Barrel. A sticker for you, Ethan. Sticker? Take it from me. Okay, I'll sticker. set that down there. Muddy sticker right here. I'm like cross I don't know if this is. We'll figure it out in a minute. It looks like a toy. Oh, no, that toy. It looks like a, I don't know, some parts. Okay. Looks like some other pieces here. There's the other wheel. The other wheel? Yep. There's a knife. Put this knife up. Okay. Still holding it up. We got another piece. Like we'll figure it all out in a minute. We need directions first. We got another piece. We got some trash in the box. Okay. A bunch of pieces, so prepare to do some work when you're first building this thing. It's like hardware, tools, lock pins. Here's the directions right here. The little baggie inside. And we'll be opening it with our directions and build this gate cart. Okay, make sure nothing else in that box. Yeah. Anyway, just stay there. Okay, okay directions. So, step one. Get this package. Get all this off. Trash off. First step, you take the front frame as the curved pieces yeah. and the rear frame the rear and you frame put it put together. Them together. It's really loud okay. sound. Yeah, it really scared him. It kind of scared course. me. <laughs> My heart plays like a hundred. And it says you need um, two quarter inch and one half inch hex bolts. C. Okay, so we get the bag of hardware. This is really nice that that muddy don't come with uh, labeled bolts and screws. You just got to dig through it until you figure out which one's which, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay. Good job, muddy. Maybe this is my mistake buying this stuff.
Well, we got it done. Sorry for the time lapse. Um, there are so many directions. Yeah. I'll put in the video uh, an overlay of the directions for you. But uh, I would say is whenever you uh, go to build this thing, use a 7 16 socket. And I would say use two ratchets and a socket instead. I used uh, channel locks just temporarily because I can't find my other socket, 7 16. I have two 7 16 sockets. That way you can tighten everything up because when you go to spin the bolt, the lock nut on the back side it spins and you're not able to tie anything up if you have unless you have two ratchets and two 716 sockets. But um, other than that, it looks like a nice game cart. Yeah. I would say maybe we'll see how it does on these ridges and stuff. Would you read it out of ten? How like how to put it step by step like. The, the assembly instructions, I'll rate that out of 10, I'd rate it 3 because mm, yeah, they need to have like the all the hardware and stuff needs to be labeled separately. Um, I would say it needs to have separate compartments for all the hardware because there are so many different bolts and you got to count how many bolts they have at each and then you figure out what you got. Yeah. Um, it was kind of tough to figure that out, but... So far, after the overall unboxing and everything, uh, after I put it together, it was simple after I figured out the steps to it. But uh, I would worry about these little lock, these little pins right here that you push in. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes they break off, or because you're pulling three hundred, hundred something pounds on this game cart, a deer back and forth over hills and bumps and jerking around, and that that's not gonna hold up forever, but. Other than that, it looks pretty good. There's no bent axle. It rolls nice. So satisfying, kind of like this time. You can take the, you can take, it looks like you can take the handle off here if you want to transport it. Like I have a Jeep Renegade. I have a small Jeep, so yeah. putting this in the back of it, um, okay. it's going to be a task, but what I plan on doing is taking the handles off and then maybe taking the wheels and the axle off and just putting them back on when I get a deer. The axle's, axle's the great part right here. Yeah, and I can just stack everything inside of it. Yeah. Maybe possibly do it like that, and then that way I can transport a little bit. Um, or that, overall, I'm happy. I think I think it's gonna be a good game for so, It's better than breaking your back for get, carrying a deer out. Better so. sweating and just, you know, being sore the whole day. Yeah. Please hit the like and subscribe button down below. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.